Hi, a few of my students have asked a quick guide on one of the ways in which hedge fund might select stocks. Essentially, it will all come down to analyzing a lot of factors and then scoring. Okay, so there's data inputs and then there's scoring. I mean, it could be anything from price momentum, uh, where does things rank, analyst revisions, intrinsic value, rate evaluation, could be a whole host of things. Because there is so much data, we will always be funneling it down into blocks and scores. Got it? Blocks like these or like these up here. Let me show you these. Okay, blocks or blocks down here and scoring. It's as simple as that. The human brain can only do that. Computers can only do that. Uh, uh, and therefore, it gets into that. Now, whether it's quality, such as uh, equity, earnings qualities, and all sorts of various things. The importance of these will vary depending on the analyst or the hedge fund manager concerned and what they think is important and what they don't think is important. When I get the idea for a name, okay, and where do I get that? Well, actually, let me put it this way. I might be just looking at... Uh, I might just be looking at uh, Microsoft, simple enough name, and I happen to look at Microsoft, okay, and I say to myself, okay, let's put in MSFT, uh, I'm looking for the next Microsoft, all right, so because I'm looking for the next Microsoft, I click on that, and we're just thinking names at the moment, all right, just trying to keep it simple, we're looking for, yeah, because I'm recording, it's a little bit more difficult, there we go, do, 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 uh, 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 uh. Come on. And the next thing I want to do is uh, uh, I see some scorings. I think, okay, green, 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 green. I look at their peers. And in essence, I still need to work out, well, what the hell does all of this mean? Where is it going to take me? So I will look at something which gives me a comparison with those tables or scores. Tables and scores. Tables and scores always. So here's a table. All right, fine. Uh, what about scoring? Well, actually, that's Microsoft. I've already got them. Anything come close? Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, uh, Norton seems to come close. It's at a 91. Also, uh, Facebook. Well, I've already got Facebook. So let's look at this Norton LifeLock. Who the heck are they? Okay, they we're still at the name stage for the moment. We're still at the name stage. We have not moved on to actually buying something at the moment. I look at this. And then say, well, are they worth investigating further? How are they scoring uh, on these various factors? Now, for me, the thing that matters the most happens in actual fact to be uh, uh, n uh, not just these scores, which is what other people might look at, uh, and they're fine, but that's just given me a name. That has just given me a name, which is Norton based on all of these and, and the fact that it's the closest in terms of quality uh, and combined alpha scores to a, a Microsoft. It's a 97, right? So, okay, they've totted up all these scores. They've done all this analysis and clever stuff for me, but that's still just a name to me. The only thing, or well, one of the things that matters the most in actual fact for me is when I then... And let me pull this up. I'm going to look at my own analysis and say, well, actually, what does it say on my scoring? Well, on my scoring, it's only got a score of four on the basis that growth isn't so great and performance recently has lagged a bit. Don't worry about the other two which are on there. Let's get rid of those additional graphs. Okay. Uh, and there we've got it. Now, yep, you can see it's fallen off a cliff. And that's penalized it. Now you might say, well, why would you penalize it? Everything fell off a cliff. Well, actually, everything didn't fall off a cliff. Some things have already recovered. So you can see why that's got a fall. And for all the other analysis, that's why my rating I give most weight to. Because it's not just about scoring. It is about weighing things up. So what is there? There is the information we look at and how important it is. What's important? How important is it? What's important? How important is it? It's what all investing is about. And I'm afraid for all of that analysis and looking at earnings qualities and everything else, for me, the two most important factors were the valuation, the growth, the income, which is what my algorithms work at. And it didn't make the cut. Norton didn't make the cut. 99% of the time, stocks that I'll look at don't make the cut. Why? Because I am looking for companies with whom to entrust the future income of my son. Think about it. It's going into his eyesight. It's going into his tax wrapper. Okay, so it's his future. 
which of these companies is going to be worthy enough to be working for my son's future. My son's a shareholder in this or whatever, whichever company we buy. Therefore, they're working for him. Which of these are worthy enough to be in that portfolio of 15? Uh, and he's going to have 15 equities in his portfolio. So you can see why 99% of companies don't make the cut out of the 8,000 that I'll analyze. And they'll be analyzed relatively quickly. I've done it slower here, uh, but that's how it'll be done. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of, look, we got rid of all of these there. Now, that's not to say Palo Alto Networks won't necessarily double tomorrow. It might, but I think I'm taking more risk than I need to, given tables and scores, tables and scores, okay?